Peace be with you. Dear friends, today begins what has become known as the Easter Triduum, the three days recalling the celebrating and celebrating the events surrounding the suffering, death, and resurrection of Christ, Jesus Christ. And at this point, I'd like to invite you to our chapel for a virtual journey through these three holy days. This is some uh, 40 minutes video reflection. So if you're able to have some time, uh, please join us. And tonight, we celebrate the institution of two sacraments, the Eucharist and priesthood. Tomorrow, Good Friday, is the only day of the year when there is no Mass. However, there is a liturgy during which we venerate or pay respect to the cross. And on Good Friday, it is only a holy day of obligation and going to church tomorrow does not, that is Friday, does not relieve us from going to Mass on Saturday evening or Sunday. So Good Friday along with Ash Wednesday is a day of strict fasting and abstinence. That means we're going to limit how much we eat and what we eat. And then Saturday evening liturgy takes us through the blessings of the fire and water into the holy night during which we keep watch awaiting Easter Sunday and the resurrection of our Lord. So as you see, there are many opportunities to participate in the Eucharist and we're also grateful that the churches are open. There's no uh, restrictions on how many people can enter. So we've been preparing ourselves over the last 40 days. Let us spend the next three days with the one who loved us all the way to the cross, who didn't hold anything back, including his own life. Unless Jesus says to his apostles tonight uh, that when he goes and prays and he comes back and sees them falling asleep and then comes the big question, the very painful question, could you not stay awake for one hour with me? And that question is directed to each one of us. And now, great for all those year, days of Lent and everything that is coming ahead of us, let us begin. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, as we prepare to enter the mystery of these three most holy days, we ask you to illuminate our minds and hearts with the hope and promise of Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection. Help us to understand, live, and apply the simple math that one cross plus three nails equals forgiveness. We ask you, through Christ our Lord, Amen. St. Thomas More, in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. This time I wish you a blessed and joyful Triduum and Easter. God bless. Good morning, this is a very brief announcement for grade 12 students. An updated potential grad list has been posted outside the guidance office. Please check the list for your name. The list will also be posted on the grade 12 guidance LMS page. You can also check the list there. If there are any discrepancies, please come and see me as soon as possible in the guidance office. Thank you so much. Good morning, STM. My name is Claire, and here are your announcements for today. Today is the day of the return of the much-loved Best Buddies basketball game. Teachers who registered to attend the game, please view the schedule sent yesterday by Mrs. Awaskiu to see what shift you are on so you know when to bring your class down. All players, please meet in the resource room 217 promptly at 9 a.m. The event will also be live streamed during period two. Thanks, everyone. Looking forward to the return of this amazing STM tradition. Three players on our junior girls volleyball team. Three players on our junior girls volleyball team, Sophie Clark, Audrey Evans, and Ava Milligan, have been chosen for an elite all-star team made up of all schools in the board. This team will take on the public school board team for bragging rights of Hamilton. If you see the girls or their coaches, Eliana Fiorasso and Maddie Hill, please cheer them on today. Fans who want to watch the game can join us at Mohawk College tonight at 6 p.m. A reminder to all track athletes of the practice after school and all next week to prepare for the meet on the 28th, only two weeks away. Also, School Cash Online has been extended over the weekend for jackets, t-shirts, and hoodies. The STM lacrosse team will be having a tryout next Wednesday. 
Students are reminded that forms must be submit in order to be eligible to try out. No forms will be accepted at tryouts. In addition, any students who need equipment must see Mr. Castellani in order to obtain it prior to practice. Lacrosse is open to all students and no previous training is necessary. Students with questions should see Mr. Castellani. And now for your sports. For the past two days, your senior badminton team participated in the city championship tournament down at Cathedral, showcasing 215 athletes from across our board. Despite very competitive play, 25 of our 32 players advanced to the second day. In a grueling final day, four of our teams played exceptionally well and advanced to the semifinals in their offense. Congratulations to Zola Corpas in ladies singles and Lorena Marconi in Ireland Scannon in ladies doubles, who captured silver in their events, earning a berth in GHAC. Honorable mention to Donya Domi and Hannah Matthew in ladies doubles, Alex John in men's singles, and the Brash Bin Ferdus and Stefan Morelli in men's doubles, who all had very respectable fourth place finishes. The coaches are very proud of their team, of the team for their determined, spirited play, as well as their commitment, as most of them stayed to support our finalists to the end. Best of luck to the junior team as they prepare for their city tournament next month. Thanks, STM. Have a great day. Good morning, STM. My name is Melania, and I'm here from your student council. A friendly reminder that you must get your prom seating forms completed with a maximum of 10 people per table by the end of today, April the 14th. Completed forms can be put into an envelope outside the student council office labeled prom seating. A message to all dodgeball teams. There is a mandatory meeting Tuesday, April 19th in the lecture hall. To conclude our Easter spirit week, student council will be holding a candy guessing jar game. Jar that you will be guessing. <laughs> um, <laughs> the closest guess will win the jar. Guesses can be DM'd to us on Instagram at STM underscore council. Thanks so much STM and have a great day. STM, the time is now 8.19, and we ask all grade 12 classes to leave their monitors on for the valedictorian speeches. Other than that, those are all of your announcements. Have a great day.